We need to do something about Central Louisiana. Too many people are dying in ODN. Tyrone Easley is a regular at the Central Louisiana Homeless Coalition on Jackson Street. He is a New Hampshire native who became homeless after returning to this area to help his mom out. But in her situation, she couldn't help me because she was on a fixed income. Easley has been homeless for three years, and it really gets him down at times. But he had a positive attitude when I talked with him today. I've been standing at the levee, um, anywhere, you know, I can, you know, because I've been having a lot of bad energies. Things really got bad for Easley following the death of his brother-in-law a year ago. But he had um, the overuse of drug abuse in his life, and that's how a lot of things had got started. She, when he went out, my I really lost it, and I don't want you know my mind. I don't want to be around anybody. Yeah, so these are offices. Um, generally, Joseph Bazetta is the executive director of the homeless coalition in town. He says the goal is to find people to see what programs they qualify for and work to get them into those programs. He says many factors, from the COVID outbreak to the recent hurricanes to the economy, has resulted in increased homelessness in the area. We're seeing uh, just an overall increase in the amount of people that are on the streets, um, and especially contending with the weather, a lot of it is coming into the coalition to get some AC, hanging out uh, in these shaded areas, and just really trying to escape the heat right now. Once the coalition gets them into programs to help, they provide the counseling to keep them there long term. Uh, we also have case management where people can come in and work with our staff to help try to get them into some kind of housing program. Bazetta is a social worker who has been working with the coalition for more than seven years. And really just I'm here because I want to help get people off the streets. Uh, there's a lot of people here who have a lot of stories of, you know, of trauma, hard times. This is the back entrance to the Homeless Coalition where people can come to get laundry service, have a bottle of water, and just get a few minutes out of the sun. The heat's a problem. Um, we are always looking at the weather as it impacts homelessness because it's not just, you know, the mental health problems, the addiction. There's also a physical component for homelessness as well. Bazetta says they are always in need of volunteers to work with the people who come through the center. And while Easley doesn't have a paying job right now because of mental issues, he does work every day and does what he can to help out. Right now, just becoming a volunteer, I help out in different places I've been picking up around the communities. I take like, um, um, I just grab a couple of bags every day. And this place have helped us tremendously. Easley loves this area and has this parting message for the people. Thank you, Central Louisiana. We all, the homeless love you guys. Please don't give up on us. Please have faith. Thank you. Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.